Come on, Mike. What's How are you? On? Good. Uh, welcome to What's a Seawolf. Um, on this show, we're going to get to know the student athletes of Stony Brook University and most importantly, their passions outside the lines of a field or court. So uh, let's start with what year you are and what you study. Uh, I'm a senior right now. I am uh, studying business and specialize in marketing. Also, you are a volunteer fireman in the Holbrook Fire Department. Mm -hmm. um, what sparked your interest in getting involved in that? So I started when I was 10 years old as a junior. Um, just really liked helping others, really into the field. And then uh, seven years later, I joined the actual department where I can actually go on calls. So what was that process like being um, a teenager and, and training to become a fireman? Um, it was a little tough, especially senior year. You had to do a lot of trainings and stuff like that, usually at night. But um, I was able to uh, grasp it and just I just enjoyed it. That's what really sparked me to keep doing it. So being a fireman, um, how has that translated over to the field? and? Um, how does that make you a better teammate even? Um, it's almost structured like the military. So um, a lot of guys are uh, very on top of each other, want to be the best, because you never know when you're going to get yourself in a situation where it could be a tough situation and transfer it over to the field. Be down by two, guys need to come together and uh, need to make a play. So, so I, I stopped by your practice uh, Monday actually, and uh, it looks pretty intense and involved. Do you and your teammates have any um, favorite drills, and how competitive does that get? Uh, being a goalie, I guess I, I'm with the group of four guys up there. We uh, we love every drill with Coach Brazel. He's really pushing us every single day. For the other guys, I guess every single day they just go out there with the mentality, just trying to get better. We have championship effort every single day, and uh, that's what they strive for. Being a fireman, what lesson have you really walked away with? Um, what I learned, my lesson is time goes pretty quick here at Stony Brook, and. Uh, you to take the opportunity and really uh, strive and push yourself every single day. And the fire department, it's been going quick and I've been learning a lot and I really enjoyed every single thing. Is there anything that you've learned within um, being a first responder that kind of caught you by surprise since you've been involved? Um, helping others, I guess. Uh, there's a lot of different people out there and different ways of helping them. So I think that really uh, taught me a lot and trying to understand people and the situations they're in. So the fact that you um, are local, um, what's the best part about playing for Stony Brook? I'm sure you must have been familiar growing up with, with uh, around Stony Brook as well. Oh, that was my biggest, um, that's why I picked Stony Brook. I loved my family. Um, a lot of local guys come down to my games. I got a lot of fans from the younger groups that come down from the stadium and stuff like that really support me, which I love every single day. So I'm sure being around family makes the student athlete lifestyle um, it gives you some support as well because yes. I feel like you know um, that's one of the most important parts um, in college mm -hmm. as well when you find time to relax if you do at all um, mm -hmm. what are some hobbies or outside passions that um, that you take place in uh, if I have time off it's usually uh, doing some schoolwork but I love going down to the firehouse hanging out with the guys especially on a Sunday watching uh, Sunday football I also heard that um, you're expected to answer 25 percent uh, of your calls mm -hmm. uh, correct me if I'm wrong oh yeah so that's that's um, pretty difficult having to do with you know you got school you got lacrosse as yeah. well um, what's the hardest part about balancing all of that um, so we answered like 2,500 alarms a year so I usually try to get 15 um, at night I usually try to go down to the fire as much as I can if we have a day off of practice I'll um, try to get down there uh, over the summer is usually my big part where I I'll go down a lot I have more time, lacrosse is a little bit less, no school work, so that's where mostly I uh, get a lot of my calls in, but I try my best to get down there as much as I can. Doing duty crews at night, some seven to seven, usually I go down there, drive the ambulance, help out at night, so. Talk about the duty cruise. Um, what do you do during that time? So uh, duty cruise is um, a time where a couple of guys come down to the firehouse and they stay there all night. So if there's ever a call, they're right there in house. With the volunteer fire department, we respond from our own house if there's ever a call. Okay. So at, at night, usually guys are around, so we can get right on the ambulance, go straight to the scene. Is there anyone that's kind of taken you under their wing um, since you've been involved in the fire department as more of like a, a supporting mentor figure? There's a lot of mentors in the firehouse. Um, I would say my captain, um, Avatabo, he's really a big mentor to me. Uh, learn a lot from him. He's been through a lot of experiences. And all the officers and chiefs in the department are really take the younger guys under their wings and really try to push them and um, get to the point where they want them to be. So separate from um, being a fireman, first responder, um, you're getting ready for a game, um, say, against UAlbany. What's your go-to pregame song? 
Oh my god, dude. Well, I'm not really the big aux guy in the locker room. <laughs> it's usually uh, Corey, so he does all the music like that. But I usually, I'm more relaxed than that. I don't really like to stress myself out. And I, uh, I just go with the flow, and I just let the game play. Is there a bit of a different mindset that you have to have as a, uh, as a goalie? Um, a little more of a calm persona? Yeah, I have a calm side of me, and I also have a craziness side of me. Um, I don't know, I just, I'm very relaxed in that. I don't really let stuff get to my head. I know it's always a next play mentality, and that's mm -hmm. how I usually play. And even if there's a 100 mile per hour ball coming right at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I just step to it. Hopefully step to it, so right. uh, yeah, that's just the mentality I have. I've been playing when I was, such, you know, when I was so young, so mm -hmm. it doesn't really phase me anymore like that. What year did you start playing? Started when I was in kindergarten. Wow, yeah. okay. Yeah, so I've been playing for a little while now, and I've always been a goalie. So it's kind of just been in my blood. Long Island, for that example, being very popular mm -hmm. for lacrosse, um, were you playing in a lot of tournaments, kind of um, AAU style? Yeah, I played in a lot of tournaments. I uh, stopped when I came into uh, high school, when I committed to Stony Brook, so I really tried to stay by the Stony Brook area. And um, yeah, I, I would just play as much as I can. And I uh, usually over the summer was a big part of it. And then when I played for St. East, my high school, uh, we had our own travel team too where we played. So. That click of playing with guys that you were in high school with mm -hmm. transferred over when you actually played real games with them. Also in the summer too, and you're traveling. Yep. The more and more you play, the better you get yep. uh, as a team. Um, so speaking of like team camaraderie, um, do any of uh, do you or any of your teammates have any funny pregame rituals that you take place in before games? Um, well, I live in a, a house of ten guys, so we uh, we're all together all the time. Mm -hmm. We usually. Uh, Go to Bagel Express. I think that's a big thing for us. Get an egg sandwich before games like okay. that, and then we go over to the locker room. That's our big thing. As a senior, um, what advice would you give to any incoming um, athletes at Stony Brook, whether they're freshmen or, or transfer students? Uh, my biggest advice is uh, time does go quick, and to take uh, the full opportunity and really absorb everything here on campus and take advantage of everything, especially with um, the athletics department. They offer a lot for us. Uh, when I was a freshman, uh, they really told us a lot about it, but I didn't really take full advantage of it, which I wish I, I would have. Mm -hmm. Time does go very quick, and uh, to really uh, enjoy every moment of it, because now I'm in my senior year, and uh, I would go back to my freshman year right yeah, now. Yeah, time flies, doesn't yeah. it? So what would you say, I guess, to uh, the freshman version of, of yourself, um, knowing what you know now? I would look back, and I guess I would go out and do more reps, or uh, maybe after practice, go to the weight room and do some extra reps like that. Um, uh, I, I really, I thought I took, I thought I took full advantage of everything, but I don't know if I would change anything. I think I liked the, exactly the path I went down. Tell us, you know, who you're starting off, you know, playing against, and um, when your first home game is even. Uh, we start off with uh, St. John's. Okay. And uh, the big rivalry guys from Long Island. It's almost mm -hmm. we say us and Hofstra, like the big Long Island rivalry. Mm -hmm. Even that, not really from Long Island, from Queens. So right. um, technically Long Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's who we go against, and it's, it's always a tough game, and those guys really come out and really try to get on us, but it should be a really good first game. I think it's at night. And in terms of breaking down film, whether it's after practice or whatnot, what are some specific things that uh, you look for as a as a goalie from the other team? So we watch a lot of film now. Um, it's before practice, so when we get to practice, we know our mistakes, then we uh, fix it there. But what I look at is shots I probably should have had. Um, me being vocal in the net, showing that some guys might be a little confused in the field, and you could see it on film, and maybe mm -hmm. if I said something louder, they would have known it and uh, could have been in the right position. So that's what I mostly look at. Overall, um, how how have you translated, I guess, your um, high school work ethic in terms of lacrosse to college? Like, how has it changed? It was a huge jump mm -hmm. um, from maybe starting two weeks before the season would start to now you're starting in a whole semester. Uh, we didn't really work out that much in high school, so the um, transfer over to working at 6 a.m. every single day, going to practice, it was uh, a little different, but you pretty much get used to it. Um, other than that, I, I would say our work ethic here is much different. And then if you're a high school student, to really start preparing, getting ready for the collegiate level. So uh, to conclude, um, in terms of your busy schedule and, and you know, you're a fireman and a student athlete and um, you've got traveling and stuff like that, how do you find time to take care of yourself and in terms of you know, mental health as well? Um, you know what, my mental health now, it's almost like if I don't have anything going on, I don't know what to do with myself. So I think right, the, I stru to that, the yeah. structure is just awesome. And then over the summer, I'm almost lost. 
So I think for the mental health, it's uh, just being with the team. Mm -hmm. Having the team uh, have your back. Everyone's going through the same thing, the same pain, so it's almost like you can relate to them. Thank you for sharing your yeah. story here on uh, What's a Sea Wolf. We appreciate you coming on here today, and um, good luck with the rest of your season. So thank thanks for coming it. on. Appreciate it.